Good morning, how to cake it. I am not getting off the cake cootery train. I refuse and I hope you're on it with me. I am so on board, see what I did there, that I'm gonna make two cake cootery boards today. The theme is breakfast. For my cinnamon bun cake cootery board, I am going to, I still wanna say shark cakery. I am making my cinnamon bun batter in a bunt pan. That's hard to say. Cinnamon bun batter in a bunt. I'm also gonna make these cinnamon roll cookies that I love. I've made them for years. I make them at the holidays all the time. And then for my coffee and donuts board, I made some cake donuts and a coffee and donuts chocolate bar. Coffee on a donut. How about coffee on your donut? Okay, so let's travel to the, to the past. When I get back, I'm going to assemble my cinnamon bun charcuterie board. I said it. How about this? It's a cinnamon bun charcuterie board and a coffee and donuts cake cooterie board. Remix. It's a remix. I'm like Timberland. I am like Puff Daddy. It's all about the remix. I'm going to make some cinnamon bun cookies. I actually wouldn't give people that many because I'd end up eating most of them my mouth is watering. For these cinnamon bun cookies, the first thing you need to do is sift together the dry ingredients, which are all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, and cinnamon. If you wanna make these cookies, don't worry, the recipe will be listed below. Oh, this smells really good. Now you can just whisk all the ingredients together until combined. Clean up, pile one. So now we can start to make the cookie batter. Unsalted butter. Uh-oh, it's winter butter, guys, it's winter butter. And then we have brown sugar. I'm just gonna crack my eggs. We also have eggs and some vanilla. So I'm gonna start to cream the butter and sugar together. Yeah, it's acting like winter butter. Yeah, everything is acting like winter, winter butter and winter sugar. I, I'm over the season already. Don't fight it, blend together. Ah! <laughs> Scraping down the bowl. Important, even when you're using a hand mixer. One egg, or one and a half eggs. The problem with eggs. I'm gonna add the other egg. I'm going to add my vanilla. Okay, so now I'm going to start to add my dry ingredients. I'll add half in at first, just because I don't want to wear it. So you can see, this is quite a thick dough. It's not like a chocolate chip cookie. It's a little bit thicker than that. And that's because of how we're gonna use it. I have a big piece of parchment. Let me unravel it. And now I need to draw a rectangle on the parchment. It always wants to roll back up in the direction it was in the box. So that's why I drew my rectangle on that side because while we're working with our dough, we don't want the parchment to be rolling up on us. So better to do it on the other side and you can see the rectangular outline. You know what that's called? What? Working smart. Is it? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press this dough out. Okay, so now for the filling, I have granulated sugar, and then I have cinnamon. There's a theme. Cinnamon! So now I'm gonna mix these two together. Woo, dusty. I love cinnamon sugar. I think it's, oh yes. We're gonna take this beautiful cinnamon sugar mixture and we're gonna sprinkle half of it on the entire surface of the dough. Here's where the parchment paper comes in handy. Now what you wanna do is start to roll it on itself lengthwise and you're gonna use the parchment paper to help you. So the first thing you wanna do is just get it nice and tight. I'm trying not to talk because it's so loud. Um, <laughs> Then you can use your ruler to help tighten it. Okay, but now you need patience because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this on a tray and we're gonna chill it. The dough is chilled, you can, you can see that. So what I'm going to do is unravel this. Now I'm going to sprinkle this with the rest of the cinnamon sugar. I'm just brushing on a little bit of water so that the cinnamon sugar will stick to the dough. 
I'm gonna put it back on my tray and I'm going to place this log back in the fridge and then I'm gonna cut it. Oh yeah, there's like a, oh yeah. You can re-chill it, cause you can see. So what I like to do is just try and make a little more round. You know what I love about this recipe and why I would always make it during the holidays is because it's such a good recipe for prepping ahead. In fact, I used to make this, take it to this stage and freeze it. And then I would just have logs. And then all I had to do was like thaw it till it was st still firm. Cut, 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 bake, bake, bake. Dan to bake yeah. Already did a taste test. We're professionals, so we did a pre-glazed taste test, right? Right, ladies? And after I glaze these cookies, we'll do the post-glazed taste test. For the glaze, you just need some icing sugar, meringue powder, and then some warm water. Again, the recipe will be below. I'm going to mix the meringue powder into the icing sugar. Meringue powder? It dances with the other ingredients. Well, meringue powder is basically just dried egg white. So the same way you'd make royal icing with an egg white, this is just like the safer, easier way. I'm not adding all the water at once. I'm adding water until I reach the desired consistency. If it's too thin, you can add more icing sugar, but you want it to, you want to be able to drizzle it, but it still stands up. It's too thin if you drizzle it and it just spreads. It's too thick if it won't drizzle. Drizzle time. Oh yeah. I like big bunts and I cannot lie. <laughs> I'm going to make a cinnamon bun bunt. Say that five times fast. Cinnamon bun bun, cinnamon bun bun, cinnamon bun bun, cinnamon bun bun, cinnamon bun bun. We can make that into a song. And mainly, I'm doing this for selfish reasons. I bought this silicone bun pan in Berlin in 2007, and I've never baked anything in it. I'm making my cinnamon bun cake. Here's my vanilla cake batter, prepared, ready to go. This is my cinnamon bun mixture. I want to use this as like a body scrub. You could. You totally could. Yeah. Cinnamon swirl, batter cinnamon swirl, batter cinnamon swirl. And I'm not, I've never used this bun pan, but the cake is still gonna rise. So at this point, I know it's gonna rise above the bunt. <laughs> Rise above the bunt. Squash it all out. Just giving it a little tap. I'm leaving the bunt on a baking sheet because I just mentioned spillover. There's nothing worse than cleaning the bottom of your oven. Avoid it at all costs. The bunt is still a bit warm, but I want to take it out now. So I'm going to just level this bunt. It's scary doing that when a cake is still somewhat warm but I did it. Oh my gosh, I just got punched in the face with cinnamon. Oh no! Oh, I guess this overflowed, <laughs> there's like a little nugget. Ooh, look at what? it, it's like a cork. Because this, this overflowed down the hole. What is this? <laughs> look at nice. this. It's a vanilla bunt infused with a cinnamon bunny flavor. Enjoy. You'll notice the aroma of cinnamon. It's yesterday and I'm talking to you from the past. I'm going to make some coffee and donuts chocolate bark. It's really simple and you can just have fun with it, but I'm using some white chocolate compound chocolate and then some, I've gotta be honest, I don't remember what these are. They smell kind of caramelly. And then for the toppings, I'm going to use some dark chocolate covered crispy pearls. And then I'm using some espresso powder. Look at that. Uh, sprinkles. And then Cheerios, because they look like tiny donuts. Pick up a Cheerio, dip it. Oh, and then drop it in, because that'll help you, okay? You see what I'm saying? Let's just, let's do it. So let's pour the chocolate on. So once you get the white chocolate on, 
what you can do is start to spread it on the tray just a bit. And now we can pour our coffee caramel chocolate. I'm going to sort of, I think that's enough. She says, she adds more. So I'm going to swirl this. Like you're stirring your coffee in the morning. Oh, what am I gonna do today? Let me say my affirmations. I will not eat 12 donuts. I love it. Now I'm gonna bang the tray because I can see some air. Our neighbors are really pissed. Now I'm gonna add some Cheerios. Cheerios. Yet. Okay, espresso powder. Oh, should I have put the, no, it's good. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. And now sprinkles, because, come on. Oh my gosh, I love this bark. It's so obvious what it is. Oh, 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 oh. It's so coffee and donut-y. Here we go. So now I'm gonna put this in the fridge to set. So these are the cake donuts that were baked. So I baked my vanilla batter in donut molds or a donut pan, like little mini donuts. We whipped up a donut glaze. This is a coffee flavored donut glaze. And now I'm gonna dip these little cakes. I gotta be careful though, because the cakes are very delicate. Oh girl, I don't want bubbles in my donut. I need a pin. Pins are very helpful. I have a donut glaze recipe on my blog at howtokickit.com. Really simple vanilla glaze, but you can flavor it any way you like. So I made coffee concentrate to flavor this glaze, and the recipe for that is in my book. I also use coffee concentrate to flavor buttercream. You wanna dip the donut into the glaze so that it's halfway, and then you wanna hold it to the side and just let the excess drip off. And I like to pop the air bubbles as soon as possible because they'll settle. And now, before the glaze sets, I'm going to add a little bit of this espresso powder. It's as if the theme is coffee and donuts. Do you, do you see that? And don't ask me why there's 11 and not 12. That's irrelevant. Do not ask me. Okay, so I have all of my Cinnamon bun goodies here, ready to go on my cinnamon cake cootery board. I mean, it all looks like cinnamon rolls. That's for sure. Wait, I need to put icing sugar on this baby. Like I said, these boards are all about you bake as much or as little as you want. I love this. Get this out of this above shot. <gasps> Imagine you're in bed and somebody's like, darling, you just woke up, you must be famished. Have 52 cinnamon rolls. We were shopping for something else and we were in a store and we found these cookies that look like donuts. Oh, <laughs> they're individually <laughs> And it's cakey. It's coffee and donuts time. Look at all of this. So I have the cake donuts that I made and glazed with coffee glaze, topped with espresso powder. I'm Canadian, and in case you forgot, I'm gonna remind you, because these crullers are from Tim Hortons. And then I have Tim Bits, not donut holes, Tim Bits. Then we have the bark that I made yesterday, the coffee and donuts bark. Chocolate covered espresso beans, coffee buttercream. Let's just drink three cups of coffee and then assemble the board. both these boards for different reasons. The best part of Kekuteri boards is they're meant to be shared, okay? So I'm gonna call in the troops, the How to Cake It troops. Guys, everyone, hands on set. 
I want everyone to enjoy these boards with me. <laughs> Why did you make me do that? Sorry.